Hey guys, welcome back to Medieval Dynasty, the Oxbow map. Um, I'm actually not going to call this a episode number or a season number because what we're going to do today is, if you guys want, this can be episode one of season two. Um, we can start a new playthrough for the Oxbow. Um, now, I'm not going to do anything to our old playthrough. I, I mentioned it in the last one, but I will say it again. I don't delete my save files, guys. I have save files from like four years ago. Okay, so don't worry, our save file is still there. This is, uh, it's going to stay there. Um, I just started this, you know, because I was thinking that maybe starting over would be good in the sense that I think that I kind of messed up the last playthrough. Uh, I'm not going to lie. I really kind of think that I, like, obviously, you know, the village looked great, um, but I feel like I just kind of rushed things. I got really impatient. Um, I got to using Mod for way too much of it, and I was just like, yeah, I'm just going to, you know, keep, keep doing that. Um, but no, we're not going to do that this time. Um, I don't even have, like, the game is not even running through Mod, so I can't, like, you know, spawn stuff in. Um, the first thing we're going to do, and I showed it off um, in one of our previous episodes, but the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here and I'm going to take the stuff that is up here. Um, for anybody that missed it, when you spawn in at Sadoan's house, if you come up to his attic, there's a whole bunch of stuff that you can just take, and we can go ahead and sell it all. This one, uh, yeah, I was going to say, this one, the hitbox is always just a little weird. Okay, there we go. All right, so we got all that, so we can head out and actually start the tutorial. Um, or I'm actually going to probably skip the tutorial. I think it lets you. All right, boy, I haven't played in first person in a minute. There he is. He's over here. So let's come over here and talk to Sadoan. Uh, you're alive, and you look quite mobile as well. That's surprising. You almost sound disappointed. I'm not. Well, I had plans to poke around your insides after your demise. Just out of professional curiosity, of course, but I'm glad to see you upright and conscious. Um, I'm definitely glad to be both of those things as well. Who wouldn't? I certainly won't be mourning over the days when I had to empty your waste bucket. And let's be frank, you hardly ever made it to the bucket. Uh, okay. Sure. Shame me for being wounded and unwell. Who are you supposed to be anyway? My name is Sadoan, and I'm the local barber surgeon. At least that's what the townsfolk call me. I've never truly pursued a career in medicine, but I guess I was the least hesitant to grab the axe when it was needed. That's the oxbow for you. It doesn't matter who you were before, only what the land has in store for you from this point on. You'll see. Okay, but before I can answer any more of your questions, I need to perform a quick examination. We have to be sure that every part of you is healing correctly. Let's start with you telling me what the last thing you remember is. Um, waking up in the house nearby. I see. Do you honestly believe that, or you just want me to? I'm just going to go with you. My greatest mentor in the art of medicine had a saying. First, to do no harm. I do know who you are. I don't, excuse me. I don't know who you are or what your reasons for lying are. I won't pretend that I know what is best for you. Your secret is safe with me as long as you follow the rule of doing no harm as well. If I see you hurting my people, you will be stopped. Um, sure. Um, I'd rather keep my past as it is. That's your right. As for your examination, from a medical standpoint, you seem to be in good shape. If you like, we could go through a couple of quick exercises, though. No, I think I'm good. In that case, the next thing you need to do is speak with the Castellan. He's the ruler of the Oxbow and wishes for you to, to see him for yourself. Uh, will do. Thank you. Okay. All right. So there we go. Um, I think we could probably still... Oh, no. That chest is empty. Okay. So we can't actually... Oh, we need a knife to skin the rooster and everything. Not a big deal. I'm not really going to worry about any of that because we're going to get a bunch of stuff after we talk to... Oh, I don't even remember his name right now. All right, well, let's go find the Castella and let's get this going. But yeah, anyway, um, I, I was starting to say it. I don't know if I finished it or not, but I'm not going to put an episode number on this, guys, because I want to find out if this is something that we even want to do. Like, do we want to start over, or do you guys want me to just continue with the other playthrough? Um, I'm kind of feeling like the other playthrough uh, is just, like, had its run, but, you know, I want your guys' opinion. Uh, stop bothering me. Uh, what is it that you want? Less talking, more paying attention. Um, I'm just gonna, I'm just, I'm not even, this guy's, this guy's kind of an asshole. Um, piece of cake. Don't worry, I'm a professional. Will do. Um, I'll see what's what and then I'll decide. Okay, so he just wants us to build, like, a settlement, which, you know, we're gonna do. Like, you know, this isn't our first rodeo. I definitely did not take the stairs. Okay, all right, that's fine. All right, so we need to talk to Derwin. That's his name. Now, Derwin is going to give us ex access to a chest full of stuff. Hello, Derwin. Glad to finally see you in good health. I'm Derwin, Piastovia's quartermaster. I was told by the Castellan to speak with you. I understand. Allow me to elaborate a bit on your situation, then. Our ruler tends to be brief at times. Uh, that's mildly put. 
You see, your guild was invited to the Oxbow in order to start a new settlement, which in time could develop into a strong ally of Piastovia. That much I've heard. But what you might wonder is why would Piastovia need such an ally, or what does it really mean to be its ally? These questions are hard to answer for sure. Someone could have even said, dangerous to ask. What are you trying to say? Sorry, forget I said anything. I didn't want to insinuate that you're in any kind of danger. The Oxbow is a wonderful place. Apart from a hungry wolf or a drunk adventurer turned bandit, you have nothing to worry about. Just be careful who you put your trust in. Um, all right, I will. Good, good. When you were talking with the Castellan, I put some things for you in the chest next to Sedoan's house. It's not much. A few of the items that we recovered from the carnage and a couple of useful things that will help you get started. Uh, thank you very much. This is it, then. The only thing left to do is to go out there and explore, roam around, and find the best starting place for the new settlement. I'm sure you'll do fine. Okay, that's what I'll do. All right, so my thought process for this one, guys, or at least I'm going to... I'm going to come over here by this waterfall. I want to try and make a much smaller settlement. I don't want to do uh, districts this time, which is weird because that's what I always do. Like, I always do districts. But I'm wondering if we can just create, and I know it's really close to Piastovia. You know, it's going to keep it, I mean, but I, the only one that we're going to be really far from in this this time w would be Kalanika. Um, which is okay, because then, you know, we've got these three here that we're mostly, you know, in the center of, so to speak. So... That is the plan. Let's get back over to Sadoan's house and get that gear. Oh, you know what? Something else. Oh, there's going to be some stuff, I think, in there that we also can sell. So let's come down here and just take a look at the chest. Uh, anything that I can sell, I'm going to sell. I want to see if I can get a, um, oh, what's the word? A bag. Sorry, I couldn't think of it. All right, so we're going to go ahead and I'm going to sell those and those. No, not simple bag. Alright, so the rest of this I think I want to keep. I definitely want to keep the bow. And uh, we don't need the burned note. Alright, let's come over here and see what we can sell. Alright. This guy sells food, right? Yeah. I'm going to try and sell stuff to the people that need it. Like the appropriate people. So he sells food. Um, we'll hold on to that. Uh, I usually get rid of meals. Like the oat rolls. Olive oil I think is a gift. Okay, yeah, olive oil is a gift, so I don't want to sell that to him. Can I talk to you, sir? Show me your wares. Um, he's got, so he doesn't have, okay, so the potions I'm going to need, so it looks like I need to talk to the herbalist and this gentleman right, oh, wait a minute, right here. Sorry, I didn't even see him. I was looking at my compass. <laughs> okay, so this guy right here is going to take the olive oil, so I'm going to go ahead and sell that. It's going to be a minute before we need a gift. Uh, yep, merchant locations is good. All right, now we need to talk to the, to, no, the herbalist. Yep, 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 her. Excuse me, excuse Hello me, wait. There. Hello. So, we're going to go ahead and sell that and that, that and that. So, all right, we've sold all of that. So, now we're at 555 coins. Um, so, that being said, Goodbye. now we can come over to the seamstress here. Greetings. Hello, and I would like to try and get a, not a pouch... Oh my gosh, those are so expensive. I mean, pouches are nice though too, but I was kind of hoping to get, yeah, a backpack. Oh my god, you guys, look. To get a simple backpack is literally exactly what we have. I think I did this math once before. Like, I think I did this once before, and I shared it in, like, a video not too long ago to let everybody know, like, hey, in the beginning, if you collect all this stuff, it'll give you enough to get a simple backpack. All right, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and buy this backpack because that will help us carry stuff. So now let me go into my inventory. We're going to go ahead and equip that. All right, so now we can hold a little bit more. Oh, something I did want to go over is I just wanted to show you guys our settings really quick. So I left the taxes at 100%. Building limit I turned all the way up because I like being able to build. Um, I have poisoning and temperature on. XP gain and technology. I do have max just so we can get stuff unlocked. However, I left Dynasty Reputation um, at 100% so that we don't get to, like, have too many people. You know what I mean? Like, I'm, I left that the way that it's supposed to be so that I do have to gain Dynasty Reputation in order to have people. Because another thing that I thought about in my last playthrough um, is I didn't really do a whole lot of quests. Um, I spent so much time at our village and I, th like, that was my main focus. I really didn't do a lot of quests and I kind of want to do that. Um, and then down here for the seasons, I went with 10 days for the seasons. I really hope that that works out. 
Um, I left all of the inhabitants' needs at 100%, and I just went with bandits and animals. I just brought the, their health and damage down to 50%, because I am really bad at hunting for some reason in this game. So um, I don't want to get wrecked trying to do that. <laughs> we'll see if these settings end up being, like, way too, like, low... Um, you know what I mean? Like, I'm killing things, like, with one hit or whatever. Then I'm going to go ahead and modify them. Like, I, I, it's not that I don't want my character to ever die. Um, but I feel like on the normal settings, this game just is kind of brutal. Um, also, I wanted to show you guys. So this is our character. I kind of was hoping to go for a little bit of a Viking vibe with him. And uh, they don't have really, like, good facial hairs to, that fit that. But this is what we ended up with. I don't know if his name shows up. Oh, yeah. I named him Daravale. Now, this name comes from um, way, way back in the day when I was a kid. Um, I used to play Dungeon Siege. Uh, my dad got me into Dungeon Siege when I was a kid. And for whatever reason, like, one of the times that I was, like, just trying to figure out a name for my character, that one popped into my head. And um, it's just kind of been a character name that I use, like, whenever I'm playing as a, as a male. Um, that's just a character name that I usually, like, use all the time now. Um, so I named him Daravale. He does not look 18. I will have you know. 18 years old? I don't think so. <laughs> okay, so now we can actually head out. Um, so we're going to head out, yeah, this way. We're going to head out this way to see if we can get down to where we want to build. Oh my gosh, I love that his little wolf tail like bounces. How cool is that? Oh yeah, what horses do we have? Oh, oh is that a black one? Oh my god, you guys. This is the first time I've ever had a black one though. Okay. We d I definitely want that. I want that horse. Uh, can I see from here? No, I have to go in there to find out if it's a foal or a colt or a filly. Excuse me. I, it's obviously a foal. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> All right, what are you? This one's a filly. So, oh, is that one the colt? Do we really get a black one? <gasps> okay, we're working towards that. I want I want him. And I know we never even got horses in the last playthrough. I mean, I keep saying last playthrough, but, like, I really do genuinely want to know if you guys are okay with, like, just starting over. You know what I mean? I'm excited about it, but, you know, I also want everybody else to, to be interested in it as well, you know? Okay, so, I think we gotta head this way. Yes, yeah, yep, 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 we wanna go this way, and then we're gonna take a right. Boy, it's weird having stamina. See, I played with Wii Mod so much that, like, I just kind of forgot how things were. That's what I mean, though, guys. Like, I just, I got so impatient with the last playthrough. And I got to a point where I, like, didn't even want to play the game anymore. It was getting so taxing. Um, but I am still interested in finishing, like, the orchard in that one. I wouldn't mind my, my character actually having a kid. Like, I haven't even done that here in the Oxbow. I haven't even done it really on the original uh, map. Like, I've gotten to the point where Rastamir had a kid, but I've never made it as far as that kid, like taking over you know what i mean like because you can actually from what i understand when your child turns 18 in this game you can actually give them control like you know instead of us like playing as this character like his child can take care and, and the thing is is like he can still be alive too and i've never gotten to that point so i'm really excited to try that out we're going to go ahead and get down here and it's not far from piastovia so i, I showed this off in my um the mining locations video that I did. Um, so I did go ahead and show that stuff off. Oops, we're, we're getting kind of tired. So there is a decent amount of room here. It's not like, you know, like a big area where I could do my districts, I don't think. But I really kind of want to, I don't know, just maybe like have a small settlement that we can up... Uh-oh. Okay, this is just a camp. Okay, let's, let's check this out. All right, I don't see any bandits, so... This is the first time I've ever seen a camp right here, but let's go ahead and check this stuff out. Salted meat? Yeah, I'll take that. Is there anything, like, by this wheelbarrow? No. Okay. It's probably not going to be a lot here, but that's okay. What about you? Small container. Three cabbages. Not bad. Some more coins. 81 coins. We're rich now, guys. We're rolling in it. Okay, so this card over here, what do you have? Abandoned supplies. Oh, apple wine! Oh, that'll be worth selling. Okay, I think that's everything for this little camp, and hopefully this little camp despawns. Alright, so, there's plenty of deer in this area. We'll go ahead and show the area off really quick, guys. So you've got this huge, open, flat area. I mean, it's flat-ish. There's just, like, maybe, like, a little hill. But this is flat enough for us to get stuff done. You know, this will be fine. And it goes, it goes back quite a ways. So, you know, we've got this whole area all the way back to beyond where these deer are. Oops, a little bit of lag. 
I'm not sure why uh, what happened there. Oh, there's a little thing over here. Yes, yeah, see, it goes all the way around here. The, the, the river kind of wraps around and goes that way. We're going to come over here and check this out. More cabbage and salted meat. Okay. Um, I know I don't need chicory, but I do want to know. Is there anything? Oh, are these <gasps> fishing spears? Oh, yes. Oh, you know something else I never figured out is how do you fish on your own? Like, can you fish? Like, can you as your like take your character and go fishing, or do you can you only get fish through the people? You know what I mean? Like, cause I tried that once, and I tried throwing like spears and stuff down, and it was not happening. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and grab all of this. Oh, you, you know what, guys? I never went back and grabbed all of the stuff out of that chest. Oh man, somebody probably noticed that and was like, "No, turn around!" <laughs> I'm so sorry. I will go back and get it, but I'm gonna do it off camera. I'm not gonna worry about it right now. But anyway, yeah, there's this flat over here uh, area over here as well that kind of stops right along this ridge line down here, and we've got this little area over here right next to the mine. And then my favorite part about this area is actually this waterfall. This waterfall is just gorgeous, um, and you can actually get a fishing hut in here. I've tested it before, so. We're going to go ahead and we're going to build here. Let's check this area out right here really quickly. Okay, we'll take that plank, even though the, we probably can't use it right away. Okay, yeah, we'll take more salted meat. More planks, and I think that's it for right here. Oh, there's flax here. There's a couple of pieces of flax. Oh, we're not going to be able to do much with those, but that's okay. Okay, broadleaf plantain and whatnot. Okay, so let's actually get started. Let's figure out where we want to put our house. Um... I'm thinking maybe we build it maybe right here. This is where I normally build is right here next to the waterfall. I think it's just like the prettiest place. Let's go ahead and take our axe out and get some cutting down. Um, yeah, I know all about that. Thank you, game. Oh, yeah. And see, we have a bronze axe, so we're going to be doing some work. Oh, you know what? I don't have a shovel. I'll have to make a shovel. There we go. Nope. Yep, thank you. I know all about that as well. Um, I want to collect... Yeah, I want to collect these. Yeah, let's go ahead and collect some sticks. Collect some more sticks. Thank you. We've got a point in survival there. I will go ahead and apply those points here in a second. Got some more sticks. Some reeds. I don't want to collect those just yet. I'm trying to get all the sticks. I'm probably going to get rid of a lot of these bushes. Like, as much as they make the area look nice, uh, it's just kind of, like, cluttered, and I can't really... You don't have a good indication of, like, the area you're working with that way, you know? So I like to get rid of a lot of that clutter. Let's see here. Let's grab... There's some more sticks here. I want to try and get all of the, like, the stick bushes before I start laying roads down to get rid of those, those, uh, those other bushes that we can't do anything with. Okay, so we're officially over-encumbered. Lovely. Um, but we'll just drop stuff in the road for now. That's not a big deal. Although, we can craft, right? We can craft baskets, can't we? Yes, we can craft wicker baskets. So, why don't we do that? And we're going to put them, like, right next to the road. Because they're obviously not going to stay here. You know what I mean? So, we're going to go ahead and we're going to craft a few wicker baskets. And let's actually put... Uh, we'll put all the food in one of them. Okay. Put all the dried meat away. Uh, oh, I don't even know where we picked up that oat beer. Okay, we'll put all the food in one. And then if we come over here, definitely put that away. I'm not going to be able to use the planks or the salt. Okay, so logs, sticks, and stones I want to hold on to because we are going to need to get building here. Let's try cutting this tree down. Let's see if we get enough room that we can actually place a house, like, blueprint. Okay. All right, tree. Good. Just gonna let it all fall. Okay. And we're gonna come over here and grab these two. Nice. There we go. Okay, so is that enough room to put a house down? Let's go ahead and do that. How are we looking here? Okay, let's try it. Let's see if we can put a house down. Okay. Oh, but here's the thing is I want it to be... Here we go, like facing east. There we go. So that we can put... Let's do that. Okay, and then you know what we need, actually, is... I don't think I have... Yeah, let's craft a wooden hammer, because I left everything back in Piastovia. Okay, so now that we have a wooden hammer... 
Um, let's go ahead and set that to our two slot. Three is usually where I like keeping a shovel. Yeah, we don't really need... Okay, so for now we're just going to... I'm going to keep that stuff. Okay. Um, nope. I'm, I, I know. I'm aware. Um, but I, what I really want to do is get a field in. Okay, so we can get it kind of close. Nice. All right, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to do that. I know, I know, I know. You want to tell me all about fields. Okay, so now we need some stone. So let's go ahead and grab some more of these sticks. I think that... Uh, well, I don't actually need the chicory. Is that a stone? There we go. Let's pick up this stone. There's got to be stone in the area. Sticks. I see a lot of sticks. That's a stone. Let's go ahead and grab that. How many stone do we need total? Ten. Okay, so I need five more stones. There's one, uh, two, none of these are pick upable. <laughs> oh my gosh, see that's what I mean about the bushes, it's like there could be stone under here, but I wouldn't know. Um, let me see here, that, that leaves, no sorry, we have one more stone. Can I get one more stone across the, yep, here we go, I was going to say, maybe across the street. Okay, there we go, perfect. And we're apparently carrying too much, but that's okay, because we're about to get rid of it. Okay, perfect, and we actually have the logs. Oops, okay, yeah, I know. We're, we're getting low on stuff, it's okay. Not a big deal. Nice, there we go. Okay, perfect, so I'm going to go ahead and leave the door and everything uh, where it's supposed to be. I'm not terribly concerned about that. We will probably get into, like, changing the houses up a little bit, you know, when we get to that point. We actually have, like, a settlement... Um, and if you guys aren't interested in, you know, starting up a season two, then I guess, you know, I can always play this one off camera. It's not that big of a deal. I'm kind of excited about starting over. I think that, I don't know, it's just something about the newness of it that it's just, it's just exciting. But I also understand we've, we've worked really hard on our other playthrough. We've made it pretty far. There's a lot that I still haven't done though. And that's what I think bothers me the most about it is like, there's just simple things that I haven't done. Because I was so focused on, like, I don't know, other things that didn't matter. <laughs> like decorating. I was so focused on decorating. <laughs> but I want to do this one differently, you know what I mean? Like, and I'm hoping that maybe we can go over, like, the management screen and stuff a little bit better in this one, too, when we start getting to that point. Because it's, like, you gotta, the, the management in this game is very, um... What about, what's the best word for it? In depth, I guess, is the best way to describe it. Like, they did a really good job. Um, the only downside is that they don't really go over how to, like, understand the management. So, it, it gets, I feel like it gets confusing. You know what I mean? Like, for the longest time, even me and my brother, um, you know, and we played this game a lot. But, you know, even we were confused about it. And it was just like, what on earth? Like, how does this even work? Um, so, and, and like I said, the game doesn't really show you, so if, like, if we come in here and we go to the management tab, the game doesn't really explain this too much, you know what I mean? Um, like the food and the water and everything, because the way that it actually works is these guys are going to have, you know, they're going to require, like, we'll say, like, 300 food a day. Um, but the way that works is each food item, like, this one's not going to show up because I put all of our food away, but each food item has, like, um... A, a stat, so to speak. So, like, the meat might be... Uh, where do we put our, all of our food? Right here, right? Yeah, so let's come in here and just take a look. So this dried meat adds 13 food, okay? So if our people need 300 food a day, and we were feeding them, like, dried meat, for example, we would need to feed them enough of that to make, like, the 300. So, like, I can't obviously do that kind of math because I'm really bad at math. But if I did 300, let's see, what is that, divided by 13. So we would need to be producing at least 24 dried meat a day to keep up with the food demand. You know what I mean? So, but the thing is, the game doesn't really explain that to you. So it's, it, it gets, like, difficult to understand. Okay, so what we're going to do is, um, I know that the, we're running out of time here, but I do kind of want to finish this house if we can. So let's go ahead and cut another tree down. I will go ahead off camera and probably like go get. I th if if that um, chest that's back in Piastovia doesn't have a shovel, which I think it does, but if it doesn't have a shovel, I'll go ahead and I'll craft a shovel off camera. 
um, and so that I can get rid of some of these stumps. You know, not a big deal. I'm not worried about it right this second. I'm going to go ahead and cut you down. Yeah, over here is where our village is probably going to be. This one and across the river a little bit. I have, oh yeah, that's right. I have experience points that I'm going to need to put in. I can do that as well. All right, so we're not over encumbered yet. Maybe we should cut down another tree. Let's definitely, I'm going to have something here. So let's definitely cut this tree down. Sleep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He'll be fine. He'll be fine. Don't worry about him. Okay, let's cut you down. I love that there's maple trees in the area. You know what I mean? Like, there's a there's a really nice area um, on the um, on the normal map in the valley. Beautiful, like big open area for like building. Like it's just perfect. Uh, the only problem is that it's filled with birch trees, and the birch trees are just awful in this game. Like you only get two. Well, I guess you get three logs if you you know cut up a stump, but still like. You get five out of these. <laughs> you know, like the maple trees are just amazing. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. I do believe they added uh, tree damage to the game, though. So I'm trying to be careful there as well. All right. Let's go ahead and see if we can get some more of this built. Okay. There we go. I don't know if we're going to finish it. Um, my timer says like three minutes and 40 some seconds. So, okay. Can we do, what can we do here? I know I gotta get straw. Okay, there we go. Can I come in here really quick? Yeah, I wanna come in here and we're gonna do this. Beautiful. Okay, and we definitely have enough logs. We're just gonna have to go get some straw. Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. So then let's come over here and get some straw. There was some reeds over here. There we go. I think we need like 32 in total. Whoops, my bad. Here we go. Yep, I want reeds. Reeds. Okay, okay. Let's come over here and grab these ones really quickly. No, not sticks. I want reeds. 25, 27, 28. 30, 32. There we go. All right, we have it all. Okay, so we're going to come over here and finish our house really quickly. Come on inside. Okay. And there we go. <gasps> oh, well, it's a good thing we actually have that extra log. <laughs> oh, my Lanta, that always happens to me, though, too. <laughs> okay, there we go. All right, there we go. Oh, my Lanta, we at least got our house. Let me go ahead and sleep really quickly, and we will end the day or end our new episode here on um, a fresh day all right so we're gonna come out here okay there we go guys look at that all right so i am gonna call the episode here but again guys let me know what you think do you want me to start a season two or do or is anybody against that you know what i mean like because i'll do it I, i'm totally for it but again if, if you guys really don't want me to then I'll just do stuff offline. It's, you know, off camera. It's not that big of a deal. But anyway, I am going to go ahead and call it here. So thank you guys so much for coming and hanging out. I really hope everybody has a fantastic rest of the day. I hope to see everybody come back for the next episode. And until then, bye, guys.